Welcome to the video tutorial of Phonologico. My name is Barbara Fernandez. I am a bilingual speech pathologist, and I want to show you how Phonologico can help children that have speech sound disorders practice their sounds within words and phrases. So you can see here the menu is currently in Spanish. On the settings, you can change it to English and Spanish. If you are a bilingual speech pathologist and you're comfortable with the menu being in Spanish, you can just leave it in Espanol. Or if you want a menu in English, in case you are not proficient, fully proficient in English and you want to have the menu in English, you can do that as well. I'm going to assume that you are either a parent of a bilingual child that speaks Spanish or a bilingual speech pathologist. I'm going to start here by clicking on Nueva Sesión. Iniciar, puedes ver aquí que tengo tres niños. And we're going to click, and you can do either one session with uh, multiple students, or you can do a session with just one child. If you ever need to edit the name or delete the student, just click on that yellow button next to the child's name, and you can either delete, borrar, or you can edit the name. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, two players. Ahora vamos a seleccionar un foneo. You can see we can do for Barbara, we can do uh, P's and B's in the initial position. Y aquí está la lista de palabras. Si quieres, puedes nomás poner cosas que tienen una o dos sílabas o seleccionar todas. Now, for John, we can do uh, los R's. Y hacer lo mismo, puedes poner más de una posición, clicar OK. Y ahí tenemos tres actividades. Tarjeta, juego de correspondencias y adivina qué es. Voy a select en tarjetas. Pasa. Y aquí también tenemos frases. Me gusta la pasa de uva. En, aquí en la área de control puedes marcar si está correcto, aproximado o incorrecto. Y también puedes tomar notas. Peló las papas. Uso el peine. Puedes grabar la voz del niño diciendo, uso el peine. Y escuchar de nuevo. Peine. Peluca. Bailar. Y puedes cambiar el niño. Por ejemplo, estábamos con Bárbara. And now we're going to do John. Oro. Tambor. Frijoles. Cuando ya termine la sesión, aperta y segura el botón de OK. Now we're going to see the results. You can see that Barbara tuvo nuevas, nueve sesiones. Y como está en el nivel de frase, 33%. Y todas las veces que trabajas con Bárbara, aquí están los resultados. Individualmente, ahí tienes John. Y you can see all his data. And now I want to show you a session. I'm just going to select Barbara for now. For the R sounds in the initial position. And then I want to show you the matching game. Gris. Gris. Rojo. Rey. And you can track here how they are doing on the production of that word. Frijol. Frutas. Remo. Bruja. The idea here is you get them to say that word. Rama. As receta. They are, uh, trying to find the rojo. This gives you more access. Um, to producing those words more frequently. Risa, rastri, raba, rueda, frijo, raya, ropa, río, ratón, res, ris, ras, rab, regalo, okay, rojo, there you go. roca, rama, brazo, rey, roca, receta, rastri, frijo, rueda, risa, raba, regalo. So that is the matching game. We're going to go back 
here and I'm going to show you guys the last activity, which is my favorite one. ¿Cómo se llaman los granos que permiten la germinación de una planta? So here the child has to try to guess the word of that WH question. So this activity allows kids to not only practice their word in more in a spontaneous kind of way, um, but it also works on underlying language skills. Semillas. ¿Cuál es el mueble sin respaldo ni brazos en el que te puedes sentar? ¿Cuánto es me ¿Cuál es silla? ¿Cuánto es media docena? Seis. ¿Cuáles son los animales más cochinos de la granja? Cerdos. There are a few adjustments that you can do, like the sounds, the words being written, the image that are presented randomly, or that you want them to move automatically. I like to keep that one off. ¿Cuál es el animal? This allows the Sapo. child to practice saying the words multiple times before going to the next. Whenever you are done, you just hold the button home. And one other cool thing that Phonological has is built-in homework. So as you can see here, oops, this is a worksheet that you can share on an email to a parent. And if we go here to the settings, you can see that you can actually add custom words. You can take a photo. So for example, my son's name is Victor. And if you want him to practice saying his own words, you can add his name, add a phrase that involves his name, do a voice recording for that, select how many syllables it has, and if it's uh, if you want it to appear as the final R or the initial V, and you can select here the position, and you can once you save change, that image will appear directly as you're practicing the app. So it gives you a lot of customizations for each individual child. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial Phonologico. You can download Phonologico for iPads and also for iPhones.